In this ViewSonic training video, we're going to look at what we call the widgets within your main toolbar. In order to remember to access that toolbar, you have to tap the arrow on either the right or left hand side. Once it opens up, the widgets are what we call the laying down snowman, um, those three dots at the very bottom, right there. When you click on it, it will open up for you your widgets. So let's go into detail about what each of these icons within here do. The first one, are those are your display options, which can freeze, as you can see that snowflake freeze the screen, um, as well as you can zoom in and out, so now it can't be moved. When you're finished, you just click the little X, and then you can open that back up. The next icon there within the widgets is the spotlight, so when you tap it, it looks like a flashlight. Um, you can, as you can see, move it around and kind of reveal things. There's a settings gear there where you can um, make it darker in the background or more transparent, whichever you prefer, as well as change the size of that flashlight that you're revealing. So you can find fun instructional things to do with this. And when you're finished, you just click the X. The next widget there within that um, laying down snowman um, is the stopwatch. And so when you click on the third one down the stopwatch, um, you can have your stopwatch here on your screen. And so you can move it around with your finger to put it in the best place for you. When you're ready, you can click the start button and continue to use it. Um, something I like about this is if you don't want it this large and it's distracting, if you tap anywhere on the screen, as you can see now it's down here at the bottom, so it's not as distracting. And when you want to open it back up, you just tap on it down there and you can pause it, exit it out, whatever you'd like to do. The next tool in within those widgets there is the timer. And so a lot of us I know, fourth one down, um, in, like to embed timers within our slides like off of YouTube, but now there's no need to if you have these. Um, you can click on it and you can adjust the time and you can even, as you can see, see the options for turning that on and or the sound on and off the, if you like it or dislike it. So the ring, you can leave it off or leave it on and when you click start, it will count down. You can leave it at this size if you would like. You can see that. Um, also, something else I want to show you, put seconds on a little longer, um, you can also make it full screen by expanding it or taking it back down. And also the same way works. You can also take your finger and click off of it to make it drop down here at the bottom and move that around as well. When you want to reaccess it, there you go. And when you're finished, you exit out. The next widget I want to talk to you about here um, are the polls. Um, so that is the fifth one down, it looks like a clipboard, a checklist. Um, this activates um, a quick polling system that's meant for more formative assessment um, for you to use. And um, it does not collect student names uh, or I guess student data as specifically like a Google form. Um, it does allow students to scan the QR code from here, that's how they get in. Or, as you can see here, it has a little URL, the IP address down there. You could also give that to students through something like a learning management system like Google Classroom or Seesaw for them to get in. And when you're ready as the teacher, you click and everyone has joined using this or you have the information, enter the class, and then you can have those options down here. These are, like I said, meant for quick on the spot, so there's no way to prepare for these ahead of time or type in the questions. You simply use your voice to say it out loud choose which type of question and allow them to um, access it. If you want to find out more information about polls, um, see our other training video specifically on polls. And when you're done, you just click the exit button and you can exit. Um, the next tool within the widgets down there that I want to talk to you about is the screenshot. So it looks like a picture with a frame around it and it allows you to take your finger and um, adjust and take a screenshot. It automatically just saves to the panel, so then you'd have to go within your folders to then save it or upload it to your Google Drive. And last but not least, the next one is the swipe to reveal down at the bottom, and that just hides um, that toolbar if it's in your way, and then you have to swipe it back open to reveal the toolbar. But in my personal opinion, I like it to always be there, and so I would personally leave that on. So I'm going to take that back off. There we go. So now my toolbar is always there. So this has been a quick training video over the widgets within your main toolbar. Thank you so much for watching.